have a 13 year old son named Zach. He's allergic to milk, eggs, peanuts, and tree nuts. He used to be allergic to shellfish and mustard, and his allergies are very serious. His first allergic reaction happened when he was nine months old. He had a jar of creamed spinach baby food and he broke out in hives all over his body and his eyes were swollen shut. So we called the pediatrician and they had us give him Benadryl and then they set us up with an appointment for to see a certified allergist who takes a thorough history of what he's eaten to determine what foods to test with because they don't want to just randomly test for anything. And they did skin testing and blood work and found that he was allergic to milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, and mustard. The Initial diagnosis is daunting. You leave the allergist's office like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna feed my kid? I don't know what to do. It's really scary. And then you spend several hours at the grocery store reading every label of everything you're used to buying and you either find out it's safe or then you're searching for alternatives of things that you can have. It's very difficult to be spontaneous. You can't just be out with friends and be like, oh yeah, let's go out to dinner because then you have nothing for your child. You have to plan to, this is funny, but I heard somebody say you need to plan to be spontaneous. So I always have something for him to eat in my pocketbook in case we do decide to go out to a restaurant so that he has at least a snack to eat while everybody else is eating. Going on vacation is hard. I need to plan ahead, pack all of his food, know what is available at the hotel as far as microwaves and refrigerators and stuff so that I have everything I need to prepare his meals while we're away. There's definitely been a great impact on our family. I'm definitely more protective of my son. Simple things like sending your child to school or to a birthday party or to a friend's house is very stressful. You need to make sure that the people taking care of your child know exactly what he's allergic to, uh, what to do if he has an allergic reaction, and how to keep him safe. The hardest part about having a child with a food allergy is the stigma that other people put on him. Sometimes you feel like everybody thinks your child is different and that maybe he, we shouldn't invite him over to our birthday party because that would just be too much work. Or I've heard parents say they don't want my son in their child's classroom because they think there's going to be so many limitations as to um, their class parties or what snacks they're going to be allowed to have in the classroom. It's hard, it's heartbreaking because people are rejecting your child for something they can't help. It's something that they will literally die if they ingest that food or even have a reaction by touching the food. So what do you do? Your, your kid has no control over this and it, it's, it's their life.